to need for speed. Yeah, now we've been doing lots of stuff now, just breeding on, putting on let's plays and playthroughs of other games. But I wanted to jump back to Need for Speed again because I wanted to do another drift comparison. Uh, cause you guys liked the first one I did with the both generations of the 86. Now we're gonna do both generations of the MX5 Miata. We have the old one from 1986, and we have the new one from last year. Drift-wise, which one is better than which? Now, favorite purposes, I really like the old one. The new one is good, the old one is even good. They're both just brilliant machines, and drift-wise, they rock. The only downside with it is that you can't customize the downforce with that trunk spoiler. Even though this, this one has like a loop spoiler like that. This one has a trunk spoiler, and as usual, you can't really customize it. The only, thing, the only way you can customize the uh, downforce from this is if you actually put a wing on it, and they're all like really carbon y wings. But I don't wanna. Well, you know what? I might as well give in to it. I like this trunk spoiler, though. I wanna keep it. But. We'll put the regular one on, and we'll put this wing on, because then will make some sense. So let's go drifting. So people have been telling me that I needed to drift this car because they said that it's just as good as an RX-7 if not, well now I won't say better but just as good. I want to believe them just that the RX-7 just really seems home to me. The other drifters here. Oh watch your skyline. That Huracan should beast that skyline then in drift course but my turn. And I know how good the RX-7 is drift-wise, so let's see what this MX-5 can do. Oh! Okay, it's looking good so far. That's wide. That's wide. That's wide. Oh! That's wide. Oh, oh, careful. Keep it going. That's really wide. Let's see the van. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's wide. <laughs> That's wide. Okay, it can get wide. It feels more like an 86 than like another thing. Because right now I'm using more of the handbrake than the brake. Usually when I drift, I use more of the brake when I drift around. But that's the 86. That's with the trunk spoiler, not with the actual with an actual wing. I do want to try the 86 with, with the actual wing though. Ow! Buffer, buffer, buffer. I could have had more points with that. But I'll let that one go for now. Let's tend them in. We've got to watch the throttle over there. Ooh, ooh, come on. Oh, come on. That's dumb. Ah, I've never done that. Okay. Ooh. No catch up for you, Mr. Porsche. Okay, just turn in. Ah, I start up. I find rift train. Okay, Mr. M2. Oh, two sixteen. Can do better than that. That's good. Keep it going. Watch the van, watch the side. This thing is good. This thing is really good. Now I know why people like it so much. This thing is good, man. I can reach 300 with this. I can reach 300 with this. Oh my goodness, I can't reach 300 with this. I did. I did. 305. 
That was shoddy though. I hit too many of the walls, but that's good. That's good. It's gonna be me and my peak though. Enough of that though, let's go drift. Now knowing new cars, I think this one should feel a bit more sane, not more wild like the MX-5. Yep, definitely a lot more sane. I feel it's not really going to get really wide angles like the, MX like the other MX-5. Or the MX-5, but I can really help it. it can, it's easy to handle, look at this. Just keep it like that. Not a lot of counter steer movements there. Keep the drift going. That's good. See, this this a limit there. I even though I have the drift exist off, there's always like a limit to how much drift I can put before I gauge grip again. A move is to Porsche. Oh my God. Oh look, the police are back. Who put that taxi there? I did not say that taxi could be there. Remove yourself at once. What the hell? How do you even touch that thing? This thing feels good though. It drifts well, it doesn't... I mean, it doesn't have that wayward feel like the RX-7, but it has that one feel where you just swing it wide and just, just let it hang loose. And you just follow it wherever it goes. You don't have to do a lot of extra motions just to keep it in check. Like the, like the 86, the older 86. You just swing it wide like this. Oh, you stupid 86. There's just too many interruptions here. I'm going to do this one again because there's just too many interruptions. Not that I'm biased against this car, it's just that... Ugh. I see. Way too many interruptions. One from these Porsches. Two from traffic. But I just the wrong place at the wrong time. If I can make it a 300 there, then I probably want to. But it is a little better at Ekapat and can beat my old score. Which is like 306. I could though. Okay, let's go through here. Willy, will you go away? I think I beat it. I beat it. Definitely easier to handle. Definitely easier to handle everything. This car is definitely a better drifter here. So here, the, M the new MX-5 is a better drifter. Right, so if the new MX-5 can beat it here, then it's the best. No questions asked. But I do feel this car is a bit easier to handle than the older MX-5. That's a show. And to I get that car back in my garage. Yes, very good. Right, now let's haul the top here. Yes, look at this. You stupid. This car is being is ambushed by the. Oh, it's not good. Let's try that again. Yes, that's very good. Drift it in. Do I have to track the head track? The track. Yes, keep going. I have to use a the handbrake there. No matter. 
Let's actually get there now. That's good. Okay. Now let's keep going. Ugh. Not enough angle to keep that score going. Okay. Why did I have to, I have to hop? No worries. And I could not get any slip there. Fish. Do not hit the wall. The wall is an agent of Satan. I hit those vans. They are agents of Satan as well. It's very easy. It doesn't get really wide angles with the RX-7. It's not this MX-5. You can keep going, but you can't really get really wide angles. So it's you can, you can very you can pretty much play with it any how you want. It doesn't slide really wide like it does, but it's good. But it's not really wild like the Rock Auto or the, or the RX-7 or the Corvette. So you could just keep going. There's enough truck for you to keep going here. That's good. Dame, dame this. Stupid explorer. Ruin that one chain. Okay. Let's get the 300 from now. I might not. Go, baby, go. Okay, 300. Oh, let me leave that. Yeah, 325. Not a new record, but good. Three twenty-five to beat. I don't know if my Amex, that old Amex, have can do that. It could, but I don't know. Keep it going, that's good. Ah, that's good. Really? You're gonna end it that short? So this is the only problem now. It's easier to control now, this. But at the same time... Uh, I'm not making as big angles that I, as I wish I would hope, I would hope to make like I did in the MX-5, in the old, in the new MX-5, Sky Actors. This old Unos is doing good, but I'm not getting the angles that I used to. It's just flow. It's definitely just a flow of things. Definitely just a flow of things. I think that's my only issue. Oh, look at that flow. Oh, come on. And why did you just pop out like that, huh? No one gave you the permission to just pop out like it is. Now I've ruined it. I've ruined it. I've ruined it. No, 
Oh my goodness, come on. Okay, that's good. 26 seconds to do 25. 20 seconds. Just focus on the score. Nope, I'm not gonna make it. Nope, didn't make it. I feel as if this does Jeff better with that off. I think it's just my skill and something like that, but score wise, the new MX5 seems to be the overall better drifter here. I want to believe in this, in the Unos, but. I don't think I did provide, not that I did provide though. But I think the new MX5 is definitely a better drifter. If not, then we've succumbed to defeat for the new generation. And I don't mind that. I just want to confirm a couple of things are just about the physics of the drift from the MX5 generations. Will you go away? Goodness. You're ruining everything. Uh, how about no? What? I just drift around here like an imbecile. I drift around here like a genius. Calm down, officer. This is just us having fun. If you don't know how to have fun, then I'm sorry, but your life is complete bollocks, as it always is, but like, this was already common knowledge, as I know, but your life is complete bollocks. Okay. Oh, I did not scratch that. Yes! without that wing because that was just freeing me way too wide downforce always hit too low that's better but the only problem is that I'm not making as great angles as I want it to be and that's putting definitely decrease on my score got a minute left to score more than 300,000 If we get to 40,000. Oh, made it just in time. Stupid AMG. Why does the AI just feel like need to catch up in a drift event? It's about drifting, not coming in first place. That and togues, that's why togues are hard. Okay. And hit. Yes, that's good. That's good. 338. So yeah, just me being Bollocks over generally. They're both, both are very good. This one, a bit better, especially with the wing off. But they're both very good. Overall, I think in this case, the new MX-5 did take the back in both, um, uh, with, the, with the wing on. With the wing off, probably be a different story, this probably be more successful. But overall, both cars are very good. Um, but if you want a cheaper drifter, 
Bunus. That's definitely one there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this slightly diff, slightly wacky <laughs> diff comparison with the MX-5. Uh, let me know what you want to see more, what other cars you want me to diff compare. I'm thinking maybe... Mm, Lancers? Lancer vs Subaru? I don't know. Uh, you let me know in the comments see what you want me to compare next. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time!